now we will discuss uh, one of the example with the method of splitting the middle term as we have discussed uh, one question uh, with the quadratic formula one with the method of completing the square so if we take uh, how to solve a question or quadratic equation with the method of completing the uh, not completing but using the splitting of middle term root 3 x square minus 11 x plus 6 root 3 is equals to 0 I am taking a bit of difficult example so uh, what is the approach first of all the coefficient a and c must be multiplied a x square plus b x plus c if you compare it with the standard form answer of a a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 under the condition a is not equal to 0 we are getting a as root 3 b as minus 11 and c as 6 root 3 if we multiply a and c it is mandatory to multiply when we are solving any quadratic equation with the help of splitting the middle term root 3 into 6 root 3 gives us 18 because root 3 into root 3 become 3 3 6 is 18 positive 18 now we will see what are the two numbers possible whose product is 18 but sum is the middle term that's why this method is known as the splitting of the middle term 18 can be written as 9 into 2 but both the numbers has to be negative reason being minus 9 into minus 2 is plus 18 which is our required product and minus 9 when added to minus 2 gives us minus 11 which is our required middle term so ultimately we will write it like this root 3 x square in place of minus 11 x middle term minus 9 x minus 2 x plus 6 root 3 is equals to 0 we can take common root 3 x from this part we will get x minus 3 root 3 and we can take minus 2 common from this part we will get x minus 3 root 3 is equals to 0 x minus 3 root 3 is the common so x minus 3 root 3 is common we get root 3 x minus 2 is equals to 0 the quadratic equation has split it as the product of the two linears product of two numbers is 0 means what either first is 0 or second is 0 or both are 0 we will take here both the values x minus 3 root 3 and root 3 x minus 2 these separately 0 so when this part is equal to 0 we will get x is equal to 3 root 3 and when second part is 0 we will get x is equal to 2 by root 3 so ultimately we are getting the two solutions two roots two values this is known as the method of completing this is known as the method of splitting the middle term so any quadratic equation or any equation which can reduce to the quadratic can be solved out of any three method a quadratic formula that is alpha is equals to minus b plus root d upon 2a and beta is equals to minus b minus root d upon 2a this is known as quadratic formula second method this was the first second is completing the square completing the square and third one the usual one that is the factorization of splitting the middle term now there will be some situations where we will find the value of unknown term a b c using some certain number of conditions if in a quadratic equation out of three components a b or c if any one of the component is missing and some certain condition is given either the condition of uh, you can say equal roots no real roots real roots or some something else so how to solve how to strike on such problem suppose 
एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस के इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज द क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन फॉर वट वैल्यू ऑफ के फॉर वट वैल्यू ऑफ के दिस डज नॉट हैज एनी रियल रूट फाइंड के फॉर नो रियल रूट फाइंड के फॉर नो रियल रूट वट वी कैन डू वी विल कंपेयर इट विद स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म वी विल गेट ए इज वन B is minus five and C is k. After finding it, the discriminant will be calculated because discriminant is the value which decides the nature of roots. So discriminant is b square minus four ac. B square means minus five square minus four into one into k. That is twenty five minus four k. Now. you have to remember three conditions while you are solving the problem the condition number 1 we call for equal roots what is the another name of the equal roots equation to be perfect square equation to be perfect square condition is that discriminant has to be equal to 0 second for real roots For real roots, what should be there? D is greater than or equal to zero. Third is for no real root. For no real root, you must remember D is less than zero. There is one more condition. That is the fourth one. For real and distinct root, the roots are real and distinct. For real. And distinct, or you can call it unequal. For real and distinct, d is greater than zero. These two are separate. Here, d is greater than or equal to zero. Considers the real roots. Real roots are in two situations: real and equal. Real and real and equal, d is equal to zero. Real and unequal, d is greater than zero. But only real, d is greater than or equal to zero. here we will take this discriminant we will connect this discriminant with the third condition reason because for what value of k this quadratic equation has no real root it means that the discriminant of this quadratic equation must be less than 0 for satisfying the condition of the no real root so discriminant of this question is 25 minus 4k for no real root for no real root d is less than 0 that is 25 minus 4k is less than 0 25 is less than 4k so 25 upon 4 is less than k or you can write k is greater than 25 upon 4 so this is the answer of this question similarly question in any problem may be c missing may be b missing may be value of a is missing and can ask the question under various conditions similarly in this case if second question is also asked for what value of k it has equal roots in this situation we will put discriminant is zero and answer will come k is equal to 25 upon 4 uh, suppose the question comes like this that find the value of the k so that it has the real roots so similarly the condition of real root d is greater than equal to 0 will be implemented so it is very much possible in any question to find the missing term might be a b or c in quadratic equation but it is only possible if you are quite comfortable with knowing the conditions with knowing the discriminant and how to calculate the values of a b c first calculate abc then calculate discriminant and according to demand of question you can apply one of the four condition whenever it is written that equation is perfect square its meaning is equal roots whenever written for the real roots we have to take both the signs discriminant is greater than or equal to 0 when for no real roots d is less than 0 for real and distinct that is real and unequal d is greater than 0 as one of the example we have given you here and the last thing for this chapter that is unlimited number of world problems is left that we will also discuss with you